All right, boys, I'm all soldered up right now. Um, we're back on part two of the Ford uh, BCM. This, like I said, applies to a lot of different models, covers the Focuses, the MK3 models, probably from 12 all the way up to um, 18 the last year, uh, the Ford Transit Connect, um, Escape, and some other models that use similar um, board or layout. Uh, go back to part one if you haven't watched it and you can see the disassembly, see the actual BCM and see what it looks like. Um, this is the MCU, by the way, the chip, the microprocessor, and I'm soldered onto the points where I have access to the uh, processor. You got to stay to the end. I uh, got information on the schematics and everything like that. Um, um, you're going to need to connect up with these type of cables so that you can grab the different points that you need. Uh, it's approximately seven cables you're going to need. You're going to get your power at V, P, P. Um, you're going to get reset, ground, and uh, the couple of I.O. pins. I'm going to show that with, show that to you later. Okay. So how we're going to access this, we're going to go into Programmer, Accept. See if there's an upgrade. I should be up to date on my programmer. Yep. Go to Chip, Read and Write. Make sure you're liking and subscribe, man. This is the only place you already know. You cannot find this anywhere. Google it. Use your, you got YouTube on your phone, everything. Search it up. MCU. We're going to go to ST. And if you watch the previous video, you'll see how I know what the chip number is. Yeah, so it'll be a SPC 560. And it will be the uh -huh, B64L7. All right, um, we can go to the D flash and I'll pull up a schematic so you can see the chip. This is the actual chip. Um, we're not, we're actually hitting all these pins. For example, our ground and our power and our reset, we're hitting those pins, but from the back side of the board. So we don't actually have to solder onto the actual chip. Um, so these are the pins. Um, you can see that there. Right, and that tells you what it goes to. So, TCK goes to IO3, for example, and that's where I have it hooked up here and soldered on over there. And like I said, I'll show that to you a little bit later on. <clears throat> yeah, and here's the uh, legend right there, so you can see where everything goes to on. So this is the chip side, and this is your programmer side, right? All right, so. Um, we can do a read ID. This will just confirm that um, you've got everything hooked up properly. It should be able to read the ID on the chip. So let's do a read ID. And there it is. So it pulled up the ID. So that's how we know we have a good solid connection right there. All right. Um, now we can go to go ahead and read the D flash. Now in the D flash, well, there's various, one thing on, let me tell you on this model, um, there's certain, um, details that are stored, um, such as your VIN number. Um, like if you get a used BCM, it's going to have the VIN number of the donor vehicle, vehicle it came from. Those are certain, um, options you can modify, um, by accessing the chip. So that's what we're doing right now. We have our validation on. As you know, if you're a subscriber, you need to like and subscribe. If you're not, you're missing out on A1 content, my friend. All right. So here we go. Okay. Um, por lo que habla en español, um, eso aplica a varios modelos de Ford, de Focus, Escape, um, Transit Connect, varios modelos. Y aquí estamos soldados a los puntos. Aquí tienen que esperar al final del video. Voy a mostrarte todos los puntos donde tiene que soldar. Um, y ahorita ya hicimos el, um, sí, la lectura del chip. Y um, de aquí podemos guardar la información. Y también no olvides de poner like y subscribe. ¿Oíste? Bueno, um, guys. 
this my actual board my donut the board i'm using right now it looks like it's corrupt so the data that i'm reading is pretty much all blank so i'm not going to be able to show you anything but at least you're going to be able to see the process of getting this done uh, i'm going to also make a new video on this process um, with another board and uh, actually show you how to modify some other um, features or whatnot um, but you can read the D flash the C flash and the C shadow here with no problem um, once you're all connected as you know you go here and uh, you can just confirm that you're connected up properly by doing a uh, read ID and it's gonna go through and and there it is it's communicating with the board just fine so um, so like I said I'm gonna end this video here I'm gonna show you the uh, pinouts Uh, for this, si sí, lo que yo estaba diciendo que se dañó la tarjeta, entonces no está leyendo los datos, entonces está vacío, pues. Um, pero de todas maneras, usted voy a hacer otro video con otro um, otro tarjeta y, y por el momento te voy a mostrar dónde se puede soldar todos los los, los conexiones, pues. Alright, so here is the uh, the solder points. So you're gonna want to connect uh, your power lead uh, to these two, right? So that one wire uh, is going to connect to these two points and your ground is going to connect to these points. Tu corriente se va a conectar a estos dos puntos juntos y tierra a estos dos puntos juntos. Y, and when I, I showed you in um, on the schematic, it's going to convert these points to what they are on the XP400 Pro, right? Um, en, el, en el diagrama te va a mostrar dónde están estos puntos en el XP400. So, and that's it. Um, I'm going to make another video, like I said, with another board and give you some more details, more tips on what you can do. Uh, but for now, I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Uh, any questions, put it down in the comments and uh, I'll get back with you. Bueno, voy a hacer otro video, entonces por alguna pregunta se lo puede dejar en los comentarios ahí y de ahí podemos hablar mejor. Um, espera el otro video y de ahí te voy a mostrar cómo hacer, um, cómo hacer otro, bueno, pues las cosas que se pueden modificar um, con otra tarjeta. Eh, like and subscribe y nos vemos en otro video. All right, a little bonus footage. Uh, it was requested on the um, channel a couple of um, videos back. Um, this is showing you on the PC, you can literally do the same thing using the XP400 Pro connecting to USB. I'm just connected right there, USB. You can do this on your laptop or whatever. And um, same exact process, you don't need the IM608 or 508 at all, all with just the XP400 on your PC or laptop, you can do the exact same thing. So, uh, just to show you, um, I just went under here and it's pretty much the same thing as if you were on the IM608 or 508, you would just go in here. I picked MCU, I picked ST, I picked the chip number, D flash. I can do a read ID. It's gonna read it. Let me do that again so you can see it says successful, right? I'm just going to do it so you can see it's actually working because there's some doubters or whatnot. You can see it's flashing. Read ID successful. And then you just go down here at the bottom where it says successful. I can scroll up. And there is the actual ID of the chip. You see that? So, and from here I can select the different memory spaces I want. I can do the C flash, for example, which is a bit bigger, so it takes longer to read, uh, but I'll go ahead and do it. Just go up here to, um, hold on. Yeah, so let me do that again. So from here, once you select uh, the next memory space you want to read, uh, that's the C splash, then uh, you hit OK, right? Um, blah, 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 you want new OK. And at this point, um, because, you know, this is a bigger memory space than what was there before. So now we go to read for the C-Flash. And it's going to start the reading process. This one takes a bit longer because it's a bigger memory space. So as you can see, it's reading. 
and this is done directly on the PC. So I could have done the same thing for EEPROM, just on the menu here. Um, you would just select EEPROM here, and you know, and the manufacturer, the chipset, all of that. Um, yeah, so if you need a link to the uh, actual software, uh, if you're a subscriber, like and subscribe, and I can send you the software if you need that. Um, just shoot me an email. My email will be in the description. Like and subscribe, boys. Like and subscribe. All right. One other thing I forgot to add. Um, you can go up here to diagram and just like on XP 400, it pretty much shows you everything. So there's your legend there on that side and there it is. Same information. You can even click pin diagram here at the top and this shows you the actual legend for the, uh, pin out for this, right? So you got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. I'm going to do another video on this software and, you know, reading and the other options you can do with the software. So um, stay tuned, boys. Ya viene otro video en, con ese software para ver todas las cosas que se puede hacer con ese software. Y para decirte, se puede hacer lo mismo que se puede hacer en el, en el tablet. Entonces, eh, con el, la laptop y PC no hay diferencia, pues.